Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to be doing a little exercise on using uh, the combination of chicken nuggets to see if we can write a function or a program to find any variation. The ones that I started with um, was like 50 through 60 could we do it and then how in the world would we go about doing such a thing so I'm going to introduce you to a new variable uh, class in Python called a dictionary and here's a new symbol these are curly brackets they live on the same key as the square brackets, but they are not the same. It's curly brackets. And does anybody remember how to find the type of variable? This is the abbreviation. So there's all kinds of different ways to initiate. Um, but we're just going to go through this. And I'll show you one way. So you can link, you can link. Um, all kinds of information you have keys and variables and this is a way so we could oops sorry this is gonna be a little weird so you might be saying well why are you using so just just hang in here all right so let's see I'm 40 I'm Male, um, let's see, uh, and I'm married. So, all right. So, all right. Here's my key. Here's my variables. And then you can put all kinds of stuff in here. I could have put another dictionary in here, but we're not going to get off into the weeds. I'll do I'll do a video on just dictionaries after this to see if there's uh, enough interest in this. So that's just a little crash course of how we're going to do this. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's just call this whoop, nuggets, and we're going to take in um, a variable to find. Now this took, when I thought about this, this took me a while to think about how, how to do this. So this is, this is what we're going to do. We're going to need to use nested loops and we're going to have to use breaks. This is going to be pretty sophisticated and there's might be a better way to do it. There probably is a better way to do it, but this is the way, uh, this is the way that I thought about it. And, uh, I'll show you why the breaks are going to be in here. So, all right, basically what I thought about doing is think about number combinations so there's three combinations we have what they come in 6 9 and 20 so we have so I'm gonna cycle through each one of these so I will show you oh and to show you more I will yeah, X yeah I'm gonna show I'm doing this we'll go and I'll do another video about what global means but that just means that you can call it outside the function because when a variable is inside the function it's called local you have local and global so I don't think I've done a video on that yet so I'll do one to show you why but I'll show you why this is important so and to remind you can't do anything. One of the one of the basic rules in Python is you can't do anything to anything unless you create it. So, and I'll elaborate. You can't do anything to a dictionary unless you create it. So right here is I'm just creating an empty dictionary. Now let's go through this. So I just picked numbers ten to cycle through. So we want it to check. 
five, four, and range ten. And then four J in range uh, ten. And what I'm doing, so you can think about this, these are nested inside JK. What I'm doing is so I want to go through I want to test every combination of so how many would this be anybody got quick math of what this is it's a thousand you just multiply them through that's why just a side note that's why alphanumeric is so strong of an encryption because 26 plus 10 so it's 36 times 36 times 36 well right here we're just gonna do a thousand combinations so, and I want to test this one to be our sixes, this to be our nines, and this to be our 20, because we're not going to need to cycle up through. So, now let's think about what we're going to need to do. This is going to be our quantity that we're going to want to get. Let's start with um, 50, 50, see if we can figure, figure out if we're close to write this function to see if we what combination of chicken nugget meals to get 50 through, I don't know, uh, let's go all the way through 60, but then you'll see that we can just do infinite. All right. So we can just do any combination. So all right, now we have to do some math here. I want this to be tied to our, oh, I forgot one thing. So, have I shown you that you can do multiple assignments? All right, let's do six. I'm gonna show you this first. All right, six, nine, and 20. Have I shown you guys this yet? Six, nine, 20. So, to save space and save time, you can put this all on one line. And Python can handle this, because as long as you have the same number. So that's something that can easily be done very quickly. So all right, I want k multiplied by uh, our six, so our s, k times s plus, and we're going to go up a level, j times our nine plus our i, oops, i times our 20, because this is going to cycle through the least, because nines and sixes combination you're gonna run across a lot more than than before. So all right, this, we have our total. So, but we need to put it in our dictionary, add it to our dictionary. Now, so we want to get our combination and we're basically running tests here so now we want to add things to our dictionary so this times this equals and we want our quantities here so we want to do a list of what K is J is and I now, this is cycling through a thousand combinations, right? Because 10 times 10 times 10, thousand. We just don't want it sitting there wasting time if we've already found the solution, right? So, if you haven't watched the video on break, I can't remember if I have break and continue together or just break, find that and watch it. So, all right. So what this is, so what this is saying is this is the number of chicken 
nuggets that we're asking. So this line right here is after it cycles through this last one, it's going to run, do this math, add this to our dictionary, then it's going to run a test. If total equals what we're looking for, stop and go out. Now, this is a little weird. Oops, anybody notice what I did here? I didn't get two equal signs. Two equals is a Boolean test. One equal sign is a assignment. Now, when I built this, I noticed that it was still cycling through because break only breaks out of the mo the nearest the nearest loop. So you have to add a loop break on each level. And I got three, so you got I got three for the three four loops, right? I'd say that three times fast. Three four loops, so I need three breaks. And here and I want to print out my what I'm looking for right here and I also want to print out my oh this is important look right here that's how I assign that's how I assigned it it's also how I call it so D so I'll show you this so that's how I need to call it and brackets are that's what you use you use square brackets these go around see if you look right here square bracket then I have a list inside so key value I have my colon right here and this is how you call it so it's gonna be my X and my Y and anybody notice I didn't close this so now let's see nuggets let's see how close I am let's see if I did this right so I want to see if I can find 50 let's just copy copy paste 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 you get the idea you can do this 51 52 53 54 and so on and I just started with 10. If it's larger, you run this differently. So let's see. Run this. D is not defined. All right, let's see what I did. I was getting fancy going back and forth. My dictionary is not D, it's X. Let's rerun this. So here we go. So to get 50 chicken nuggets, I get five sixes and 120. And you can read this going on up and you can you can just see as we can. And then this is what blew me away. Oh, let me show you this. So this is the last time it got ran. This is our whole dictionary of. And the reason why. So if, if we look real, real close. First time through is zero, right? Because all the zeros. Then the first time through is six, 12. Let's get rid of these and I'll show you how big this dictionary is. Let's do 201. Because if you do 200, that's not very sophisticated. It's just uh, 10 20s. So let's see if we can find 201 chicken nuggets by just using our three choices run it and we certainly can look at that so we get nine sixes three nines and six twenties but this is what I really want to show you X this is the dictionary that had to get run to go through to find our last our last choice because as you can see, it's going up one at a time. 
went 995, 926, 936, and then it stopped. That's what these breaks do. It will always be the last one that you asked for. Because what, right here? It will be the last one that you, it will stop. It will stop once. Now when I was first doing this, the dictionary was ginormous because it would have my selection buried, buried in the dictionary because I wasn't savvy enough to understand to run a test on each time through this loop to see if I had already solved it. So that is how you do this and this is our introductory to dictionaries so i hope you are getting something out of this uh, please click the subscribe button and please leave any comments below uh, if there's anything you'd like me to try and solve or or anything like that so thanks for watching um, and we'll see you next time thanks guys